SpaceX's achievements really leave me struggling to find any useful metaphor. They're only about 21 years old, and four years ago, they became the first private company to get into orbit, which by itself was a shocking achievement. And somehow, everything they've done since then has been even more impressive. Recently, SpaceX once again shattered the world record for the number of times a Falcon 9 booster's been reused. And that is unprecedented as far as I know. So, how did SpaceX create a record with Falcon 9, and how did Elon react? What's the limit of Falcon 9? Is Falcon 9's reuse process applicable to Starship's reuse process? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. No one will be surprised by the re-entry of Falcon 9 rockets into space, but last weekend, SpaceX's main workhorse achieved an unprecedented achievement. The booster stage with the Index B-1062 completed 20 successful launch landing cycles. Well, this is the first and unique reusability record in the world. Even those who aren't regular followers of the aerospace industry are aware of this. The feat will highlight the spaceflight's company's achievement in creating a reusable rocket system that's helped revolutionize orbital missions for NASA, various government agencies, and a host of private companies that never would have been able to afford access to orbit before SpaceX arrived on the scene. Elon couldn't contain his excitement about the event. He eagerly shared a video clip of SpaceX's rocket landing, proudly announcing to us the 20th time the same boosters landed. Besides, John Edwards, SpaceX's VP of Falcon Launch Vehicles, said in a social media post, This achievement not only speaks to the remarkable capabilities of the Falcon 9, but also highlights the extraordinary competence and constant vigilance of the Falcon team. Bravo! B-1062 Boosters, a member of SpaceX's fleet, first introduced back in 2020. Its breakthrough came in 2022, when it completed eight missions, the highest for a single Falcon 9. It notably flew twice in April of that year alone, setting a new record with only 21 days between flights by the same orbital class booster, a record that's still unbroken. With this recent milestone, once again, B-1062 holds the first record for the most successful landings, continuing the legacy of greatness left unfinished by the B-1058, which unfortunately suffered a mishap after completing its mission. Following B-1062 are three boosters balancing at the record of 19 launches, and it won't be long before they hit 20 launches and maybe even more. So what is the limit of Falcon 9? Indeed, SpaceX's Falcon 9's reach in new heights. At this point, we can't really speak of a limit for this flagship rocket. Just about every day, SpaceX either launches a rocket or sends one from the hangar to the launch pad. At this space, SpaceX is redefining what's customary in the space industry. But rapid launch also means the company's continuously breaking records, mostly their own. When SpaceX introduced the latest version of the Falcon 9 rocket, the Falcon 9 Block 5, officials said the first stage could potentially be reused up to 10 times with minimal refurbishment, and possibly even more with an extensive overhaul. But that's not a stopping point Elon Musk wants. Hence, subsequent iterations of SpaceX's boosters have been certified for 15 flights, 20 flights, and currently SpaceX is certifying Falcon 9's booster for 40 flights, quadrupling their initial target. This number could go higher as the boosters achieve more milestones, but how high will it go? 50, 60, maybe even 100 flights? What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments down below. That's why there seems to be no limit for SpaceX. In addition to the impressive 20 reuses milestone, another remarkable feat occurred on Cosmonautics Day, April 12th. It marked SpaceX's sixth Falcon 9 launch in less than eight days, surpassing the number of launches conducted by their main competitor, ULA, over 17 months. This particular launch was the 38th Falcon 9 launch this year and the 111th of either the Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy rockets, the 114th launch by SpaceX overall in just the past 365 days. More than a third of SpaceX's Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy missions, totaling 332, have been carried out in the past year alone. In a demonstration of efficiency, SpaceX recently proved they could launch two Falcon 9 rockets in under five days from their launch pad at Vandenberg Space Force Base, California. Moreover, they've significantly reduced the turnaround time between Falcon 9 rockets at Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Their most frequently used launch pad, SLC-40, can now accommodate two Falcon 9 flights in under three days, setting a new speed record. These improvements aren't just limited to launch pads. SpaceX has optimized the use of its drone ships, two based in Florida and one in California, for most Falcon 9 landings. To meet the growing demand for Falcon 9 launches, SpaceX has streamlined the process of bringing rockets back to port and redeploying drone ships back to sea, all at a faster pace. As stages become increasingly optimized, higher productivity naturally follows. However, many might wonder if shortening the post-launch rocket maintenance process to a minimum ensures safety. 
Yes, this is challenging. John Edwards showed us this when discussing Booster 1062's milestone of 20 reuses. Attaining a new milestone of 20 launches with a single booster in less than four years represents a formidable accomplishment. However, ensuring this feat was achieved safely and reliably has posed a monumental challenge. This difficulty mainly lies in the refurbishment process for the Falcon 9. When the first stage booster returns to Earth via road or sea, it's hoisted onto a transport vehicle and taken back to SpaceX's hangar. SpaceX has multiple hangars refurbished to accommodate the Falcon 9 between launches. Before transportation, the landing legs are typically folded. Yet SpaceX has faced various issues with the landing legs before, sometimes necessitating their complete manual removal. These legs undergo extensive refurbishment as they endure substantial forces during landing. Once the booster is brought back to the hangar, the refurbishment process begins with each engine undergoing rigorous checks to ensure all components are flight ready. According to Elon, each Merlin engine can potentially perform up to a thousand flights without a major overhaul. However, another benefit is the ability to assess which engines flown the most to identify the quickest wearing components. This is certainly one of the reasons why Falcon 9 is the most stable and reliable rocket out there, but it also consumes quite a bit of time. The hydraulic thrust vector control, which had issues during the landing back in 2018, needs to also get checked for any leaks. Fuel tanker and pressure vessels undergo a series of ultrasonic tests to detect any small cracks that could lead to failure under pressure during flight. This is perhaps one of the biggest unknowns for every Falcon 9 rocket. With each mission, SpaceX will receive a massive amount of data on the pressure cycle each tank can withstand. Once the booster's past the testing phase, it undergoes a static fire test with all nine engines before getting attached to the second stage and payload. Currently, all these checks still need to be completed as they venture into the uncharted territory of multiple reuses. Overall, the refurbishment process of the Falcon 9 still needs to follow a safe sequence to prevent regrettable incidents. If they even want to accelerate the time spent on rocket maintenance, the only option left is to manufacture more reliable components. But do they choose to do that? Of course not, because they're focused on developing the world's largest and most powerful rocket, Starship. Unlike Falcon 9, Starship's designed to be fully reusable with the goal of completing thousands of flights before getting any major upgrades. If SpaceX brings Starship into operation, it could potentially replace the entire Falcon 9 fleet as it can launch a lot heavier payloads at much lower costs. SpaceX is now approaching a pivotal stage of the Starship program. Just one to two more launches and Starship will be able to carry payloads into space while also conducting multiple missions to achieve higher goals, such as getting in the moon by 2026 and Mars by the 2030s. And that's all for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching and catch you next time. Bye.